good family, Celestial Rising, Divine Afternoon, and Great Night to the beautiful DOT watching this video. Let's get straight into this, man, because, of course, you know, whenever we do these these videos, man, we got to expose somebody. And the thing is, too, I hope, I hope a content creator gets mad because it's the sad part that many of you who call yourselves influencers or content creators, many of you will resort to degrading your image, your public image on top of that. You will go against the grain, sell your morality out by having this identity, by covering your face up, going out in public, and you're asking for another man's vitality or energy for views and for clicks and for comments. That's the sad part when it comes down to just people who are doing shit for money or who want to be known in society. To anybody out here who wants to be a content creator or an influencer, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to do because of course by all means do what you got to do right to pay your bills nothing wrong with that but if you had to bother people if you got to be homosexual if you had to act like shit like this is funny as far as asking for another man's come to get laughs or to get likes or to get followers you are a disgrace to your own ethnicity on top of that you are a mockery and a laughing stock to higher orders who have put you in position to even have your life handled to you. Whenever we see this clip, man, many of you will understand what I'm actually saying and you'll resonate with why this is actually so despicable to even see as far as our own community as well, because it's like, how are you a carbonated being? Knowing what we go through, you put yourself at the forefront to be humiliated by a, a European costume putting his stomach on you and then you shrivel your asshole up and then you run away from the scene because he he caught on to your shenanigans it's like you're not funny so canel you are a loser on top of that you are a cello you sold yourself out so bad that you decided to get back on youtube to harass people not knowing that one day somebody's going to have you meet your maker and i don't wish that on anybody but the route that you're going, you know who to play with. You know who to play with. But I hope you know that there are some people who are not playing with you. And there are some people who probably know your video. So if you mess with the wrong one, to the people who follow this nigga, you cannot be surprised if something, God forbid, but you cannot be surprised if something happens to his character because Canel Joseph is a character. He's not even a real person, first of all, because no real person with some common sense or moral decency will go around bothering people for their sperm. And on top of that, what are you going to do with the sperm when the video cuts off? Lame ass nigga. All right, don't move. This is a dick up. Put it in the bag. Yeah, Put the cum in the bag. Are you shooting blinks? It's okay if you're shooting blinks. Sir, I have money. Leave me the fuck alone. Oh, stop. I just Leave need, me alone. I just need, Leave me alone. I just need Leave cum. me alone. I just need cum. Leave me alone. Oh, you, uh, Get the fuck out of my face, you fuck. I just need cum. Oh, oh stop. Fucking retarded monkeys. Monkeys? Just because you want Don't call me. Don't call me a monkey. Both of you are monkeys. Oh, no. Because that was my bag. Who are you calling? The police. Will they be able to bring some cum too? Yeah. You should stay here. The more the better. This is not an emergency, but- It is. We need cum. So he's basically, he's shooting blanks and he needs help jerking it because we need some sperm. Hey, they're running now. They're running away. Run! And people wonder why other ethnicities look down upon our society. Because it's like, look at this shit we do just to get paid. And it's like, you know what? If this brings you joy in life, by all means, do what you got to do, bro. But if you're young or if you're older looking up to this nigga or if you're following him, I ain't going to lie. He's going to get your consciousness harvested right back into the same exact simulation that you keep suffering in. Because stuff like this only get you put in jail or in a casket or cremated or it gets you beat up because you can't just go around playing with people who don't want to play around with you like people are not joking around society people got so much stuff going on and then imagine somebody who looks carbonated for one majority of, of america is already racist on top of that but not only to mention that they are racist but you decide to come up in front of their face knowing that you are a carbonated being and you're harassing people 
with the camera in front of their face like they wanted to be recorded. And then you run away from the scene when they call the cops. It's like, and then people want to say, man, you shouldn't have did this or no, Cano, it wasn't you, man, free him. Dude. Like, no, nigga, don't free him for no reason because you are a menace to our own society. You, like, you need to be put into an insane asylum for even doing stuff like this for attention because what are you doing it for? And if you look up to this and you find this funny, that's the problem right there because, of course, humor is subjective and objective as well because, of course, through an objective perspective, what are you seeing this as? If this is entertainment, and this is entertainment for you, then that means that you are entertained by stupidity. And, of course, that means that you practice idiocracy. And, of course, your mindset is developed into stupidity as well because you are embodying idiocracy with people that you look up to. Many of these streamers that you look up to are not real people because, for one, they are nothing but a bunch of soft ass motherfuckers who sit on the camera, who sit behind the camera all day. Not even just their desk, but in real life, they go to people that they know will not be able to confront them with physical altercations. So they will run their mouth or they will try to play victim whenever the victim is return the same exact energy through passive aggressiveness so this man put his belly onto him and what did he do he folded he shriveled up and said i just want some cum it's like that's not funny asking another man for his cum to putting in a bag trying to imitate a spongebob episode or whatever it's like just for views and stuff it's like you too grown to be doing that shit and then it's just like too you do comment on this if this returns to your office if this returns to your algorithm or your for you page i hope that you get mad at this video because you are lame on top of that if you are creating content like this my nigga go ahead and just stop because stuff like this in the years coming it will not go viral anymore and if it does that's even more pathetic on the youtube's part but content like this is not going to last you long it will not pay your bills because eventually the kids who found this funny will wake up and say i ain't gonna lie I was lame actually watching this, but now that I'm older, it's even more lame to know that I used to watch Canel Joseph as a youngin. And it's like, what was I doing in my life? Exactly. You have to sit there and question, what were you doing with your life watching him asking another European male for his cum? Like, out of all things, out of all things that you can find funny, this by far was not the funniest thing I've ever seen the worst thing i've ever seen on top of that clout is just a drug and what our people do for it it's just diabolical it's bad enough that people get on their knees it's bad enough that people bend over it's bad enough that people are just giving up their morality their identity to please somebody else's ego or utopia to get ahead in life it's like fam this is exactly what i said people who are doing their own business to the people who are working a nine to five job to the people who are trying to figure it out by being righteous you are on the correct path of righteousness because the wrongdoing of society is literally being righteous because what's good is bad and what's bad is good excuse me so the fact that people do this stuff a lot of people who are ignorant they will say that this is content. This is funny. I will like this. I'll subscribe to this because I want to keep seeing this shit. Because, of course, they have no boss to do this shit on their own accord. But when you're doing righteous stuff and you want to be a content creator or an influencer, going this route is not going to get you fame. For one, it may get you temporary fame and satisfaction, but eventually people will only see you as the person that goes around harassing people. But once people start, once your audience grows up and sees that this is not funny anymore because you're harassing people who really just want to go out in life and just focus on them and go back home nobody wants to see that shit every single day so once you really understand that you stop making content like this and then that's when the community really just starts to go against you because it's like damn we didn't grow up watching you you know alter your content from harassing people to being a a, a christian or a jew or or islam or muslim whatever the case may be like people making a whole shift from going to like even like Jadeon and stuff like that i don't mean to sit here and gossip about men and shit like that but it's the fact that we have a bunch of little boys and little girls who look up even older men older women as well who look up to these content creators but it's like the moment that they can't please or appease their audience with ignorance they got to switch over and go to religion they got to talk about god or whatever but it's like 
all you're doing is using God as a scapegoat to justify your views or actually your view count and your likes because you feel bad and you feel guilty for what you couldn't bring to the forefront. You couldn't save your you couldn't savor your name. You couldn't bring yourself to redeem yourself from the clout that you were chasing. So because the clout ran out, now you look like you like an idiot. Well, to all the people out here, stop chasing clout. Stop looking up to people who are chasing clout as well because this is basically the end result of what it will look like. You will look like an idiot. Not only that, digital footprint does exist. So if you are not concerned about how you look on the internet and you're just posting just to post, not really understanding what you're saying and you're not being conscious of what you're actually doing on the internet, just know when you get older, all this stuff will come and bite you in the ass, especially if you're going around bothering people because you can't get a job when you're doing stuff like this. Like imagine... He tried to go into a, a nine to five workplace or whatever, and he tried to get a job, but then his boss pulls up or the person that he's interviewing or he gets interviewed by pulls up this video and says, how are we going to hire you when this is what you're doing out in public? You're asking another man for his cum? That's going to look crazy. And there's no way that you can even go back and defend yourself with this because it's in 4K, 8K, 10K. They got you in 20K. Your cameraman... And for one, the cameraman, bro, no has to become a no when it comes down to certain pranks. If you're saying yes to recording somebody doing a cum prank just so that you can get paid as well, you need to reconsider your priorities. Not only that, bro, you need to reconsider your whole your whole spectrum of life, my nigga. Like, who are you doing it for? I understand we all got things to do in life, but fam, and this is how you want to get by in life by being his cameraman to not only degrade him, but degrade yourself by even allowing yourself to record this harassment in real time. Man, you better look into the mirror and just shake your head at what you're doing and what you're allowing, bro, because this is just despicable. Our people do so much degrading stuff for a check, for a dollar bill. Just to look back on time and just be like, man, I did this. I got this amount of views. I got this amount of likes. I got this amount of comments. Look at my lifestyle. When them cameras cut off, just know you know what you did. You sold out for a YouTube check. So you can't get mad when YouTube stops cutting them checks towards you. Once people stop fucking with your content. Once people really start understanding how stupid this harassment actually is not only that just the clout chasing from these streamers and these youtubers you're gonna fall off and i don't wish to fall off on nobody but it's like fam eventually bro you gotta stop with this degrading content dog like you look like an idiot and you're just making our people look bad that's why our people can't be surprised when motherfuckers just come around just talking crazy at the side of their neck because look at what our people do for views and attention do better, bro. You're a disgrace. Have a great day, God and Goddess.